Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we do my Asia World Cup qualifiers third round dream draw, guys. So this is the um we have the third round that will be starting in a, uh, June 27th, guys. And I'm gonna be doing my dream matchups in this video. So I want you guys to do the same in the comments below. Let me know what your dream matchups are. And yeah, so before we get on the dream draw itself, let me explain how this is gonna work, how the third round works. So basically, you have 18 nations, and they're gonna be split into six pots. Uh, basically, your top, you're basically three nations for each pot, according to the FIFA rankings. And then basically, each nation plays home and away um, in the third round, and then the top two advance for each group. Third, fourth goes to the playoffs, and the fifth and sixth gets eliminated. So basically, it's a round robin style. And we're going to get some very interesting matchups, guys. Very interesting matchups here. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, guys, uh, I hope you guys uh, understand that everything. I hope it's all clear. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about, we're going to go ahead and talk about my, the groups itself. So let's start with group A, guys. Group A, we got here is Japan, Iraq, Jordan, Oman, China, Indonesia. So I think for me, my big takeaways from this group is that Japan versus Iraq. That, that should be a great matchup. We saw how good the matchup was the Asian Cup. Iraq versus Jordan is also a very interesting one. And then Indonesia versus Iraq is also interesting. We saw that in the qualifiers group this year. Uh, then obviously Indonesia versus Jordan could be very interesting. That could also be great. Indonesia versus uh, Indonesia versus Oman could be interesting. China as well. Like I feel like this group, there's a lot of like heavyweight clashes, and that's what I like about this group is that it's going to give a competitive fight. We're going to see some nations truly battled, and I'm really interested at in that second place spot because this second place spot we're guaranteed to see a nation that we haven't seen in the World Cup in the last couple of editions. So with the World Cup being expanded, this is a great opportunity. For any, the, any of these other nations to qualify, you know, because I believe Jordan and I think Oman and Indonesia have never qualified for the World Cup. So this is a great opportunity to get a debut in here. And uh, then even Iraq and China, even though they qualified before, they haven't qualified that often. I think it's only been one appearance for both nations. So, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I like this group a lot. Moving to Group B, we got here South Korea, Australia, Uzbekistan, UAE, Palestine, North Korea. I think the big takeaways from this group is South Korea, Australia is a very interesting matchup. We saw how good that matchup was in the Asian Cup. Uh, that was a great one. And then obviously, South Korea, Uzbekistan is a very interesting one. Uh, the UEE as well. That's a great matchup as well. UEE versus Uzbekistan. UEE versus Palestine. We saw that in the Asian Cup this year. North Korea, the Korea Derby. That could be very interesting. So I feel like this group, guys, is very interesting because I believe South Korea, Australia, and UAE, I believe these three nations have qualified. So, and also North Korea, I forgot. North Korea have qualified to the World Cup before. So the only two nations I haven't qualified for the World Cup for this group are Uzbekistan and Palestine. So this is a great opportunity for potentially a debutant to make the next round, uh, potentially directly, although it could be tricky because this is a top-heavy group, guys. This is a, tef a difficult group, and I, I think this will be very interesting. Uh, the, the big matchup for me, the one I'm most interested in is the Korea Derby. That Korea Derby is going to be crazy, guys. That Korea Derby. Moving to Group C, guys, the final group we got here, guys, it is Iran, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Kyrgyzstan, Kuwait. At face service value, you could say this is probably a weak group. Like, let's be real, Kyrgyzstan, Kuwait, they're not really that amazing. Bahrain is kind of like, eh. But what's what's interesting about this group is that one of Qatar or Saudi Arabia will most likely have to go, go through the playoffs. And given the, play, the fact the playoffs is only one-legged games, you don't want to go to the playoffs. You want to finish second in the group. So... It's going to be very interesting. I'm curious to see how Qatar does the qualifiers. Or, because, because I want to see if Qatar is actually the real deal. Because the thing about Qatar is that they've been so good in the Asian Cups. Like, Asian Cup history-wise, they've been great. But they, we haven't really seen them do well in the qualifiers. We we, we're yet to see if they're really the true deal or they're just a tournament team. So that's the thing about this group. This group is probably the worst group on paper. Uh, but it's just that, that's just how it is, unfortunately. You know. But I, I, I still think we got some good matchups. I still think Iran... Uh, Saudi Arabia is a good matchup. Qatar Saudi is a good matchup. You know, Qatar versus Bahrain could be interesting because Bahrain we know are defensive. Kyrgyzstan and then obviously Kuwait. Kuwait could do something. So it, it's it's it, even though this group is probably the weakest group on paper, I think this group could still uh, uh, give a surprise. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Which group do you guys enjoy the most of the three groups? I think Group A is by far the best. So if you guys did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, man, peace. Out.